came out that um, the first hand account that Nev and four of his mates actually dug a hole with pick and shovel over a number of weeks, three, two or three weeks, and uh, they buried a box with a Spitfire in it. Now this would have been in uh, 19, probably 1940, into 45, 40, early 46, I'm not sure of the exact date. And uh, the reason for doing it mainly was for, um, in the hope that somewhere down the track someone would find it and they'd have it for posterity, you know, and that was generally the, the basic reason, I think. The pick and shovel aspect side of it, I don't think they dug the hole with the pick and shovel. I think they filled the holes in with the pick and shovel. Because it, it makes sense that you would you would rake with the pick and the shovels and put everything in. You, you wouldn't exert yourself to that point. That's why I think that somewhere along the line, a piece of machinery was used, um, whether it be um, a blade, a dozer, a primitive backhoe, and I believe that the five men could cover something in a hole reasonably quickly because the mass of the hole is actually taken up by the crate so it wouldn't take much to do it. The Darling Downs is a pretty big place if you look at it in one sense but if you look at where you could have actually taken these aeroplanes the, the, the district is actually not that big and look at the, a lot of the land there is not diggable. I mean I know the Oakey area the, the, it's, it's tough country around there, so it's not stuff that you just go and dig a 60 foot hole without anybody knowing and then gently place a Spitfire in there. If you had five blokes with pick and shovel who let's say were fit, how long do you think it would take them to dig a hole of this size by hand? Surprisingly probably quicker than you think. We've only been two hours here, but mm -hmm. say they took two weeks or four weeks, does that matter? They've got a hole. They've got to put the crate in the hole, but they've got to have means of doing that. The, the group of fellows involved in digging the hole had considerable difficulty in, in digging the pit. Uh, it was dug by hand, they didn't use any machinery. Uh, it was done over the course of some weeks, we believe about three weeks. It was done under cover of late afternoon or early evening. And uh, in regard to any overburden, they were able to rake that away into the bush and disguise it. So it was done undercover. To bury the aircraft was a big effort, but at the time, I think they had time. They, they had not much else to do. The war was over. They had to stay there till they were discharged. So even though, and even though they only had hand tools to do it, picks and shovels to do it, uh, I don't think it was a great effort just to lose an aircraft. And therefore, I don't think there was any great ulterior motive to it. I think they just wanted to be rid of the aircraft, basically. These things were supposed to be rushed away in a hurry, hidden quickly so nobody knew about it. So you get three or four guys digging down the Oakey base there. Someone's going to come around along and say, what are you fellas doing, you know? Um, you found any gold or um, is a water popping up through a, 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 an aqueduct or something like that? They are not going to do it secretly. So if a number or one of these aeroplanes were taken away and whether it be in bits and pieces or not it would take a long time and a lot of eyes would be watching. Um, inquisitive eyes, not that they would care less about what you're doing but someone would have seen it and nobody has come forth. These guys wanted to get home, they had one too many aeroplane, let's get rid of it. So that was, that was the reason that I'd always tabbed in my recordings, excepting to say late in the 90s Nev also referred to the fact that we put one down for, the, for prosperity which was quite unusual that at that late stage that I think he said words to the fact that somebody might get value out of it one day. But what a wonderful legacy to start a rumour that we buried some aircraft um, in Oakey which keeps Oakey in the focal mind of all the people in the in the country who want to dream of digging up a buried Spitfire. I believe that they, they if they didn't do it um, they buried parts, which we know they have done. I'd like to think they did bury an aircraft and there's so many conflicting rumours, but it all comes down to the uh, one deniable fact that, uh, undeniable fact, sorry, was that aircraft were here, techs were here, GSE was here, and the capability was here. So throw in passion on top of that from pilots who want to be remembered they want a legacy, um, 
They want the excitement knowing that in 50 years time, someone's gonna dig up their history, which is gonna relive their period of time. Why not?